What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week we're going to check out an extension that significantly expands SketchUp's material editing and UV mapping capabilities. Um, before I get started, this week's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. Um, specifically, I want to thank my newest supporters on Patreon, Chandra Hassan, Redefined Horizons, John Heights, Robert Lazare, and Kevin Cho. So as most of you know, my supporters on Patreon get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to support the show, and also get to vote on the extensions that I cover, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Through Paint. Plugin developer, Fredo6. Plugin cost, it's free. Please remember to donate to your developers. Where can you get it? This extension is located in the Sketchication Extension Warehouse within the extension Fredo Tools. So you're going to want to download the Fredo Tools extension. In addition, you may need to download LibFredo, Fredo 6's library of um, plugin resources that most of his plugins reference. Tool functions. This is a tool created by developer Fredo 6 for working with materials in SketchUp. As some of you know, the native materials tool can be a bit limited, especially when working with curved surfaces, as the materials don't always map very well. This extension is designed to give you a better set of UV mapping and material editing tools within SketchUp. So to start off, this tool is contained within a collection of tools put out by Fredo 6 called Fredo Tools. You can activate it by clicking on the Fredo Tools launcher and then going down and selecting through pane. Alternatively, you can also go in the settings or the default parameters and you can check the box further down for through pane. Note that when you save changes, you're going to have to restart SketchUp for these changes to show up in your toolbar, but then you can just use the through paint icon in the toolbar. The first section allows you to select both materials and also material and UV mapping combinations from your model. This section is basically for selections and can be useful for things like transferring UV mapping types between different shapes. The second section of the toolbar allows you to set the actual UV mapping type for your object. This allows you to select the best UV mapping solution for your particular face. These all work a bit differently, so I'd recommend a bit of trial and error to see which one works best for your situation. I've had pretty good luck with the projected UV mapping, but again, that really depends on your situation. Note that the projected option gives you several different options for the plane that you use in order to project this along your model. So you can use anything from your camera view to a custom plane set to be whatever you want within your model. This allows you to adjust the way that the materials are projected with the projected option. The last option in the UV mapping section allows you to adjust the materials applied to a face without changing the actual UV mapping. When you apply a material to your face, you can click on it with the through paint tool active and it gives you a set of options to adjust the scale, rotation, and location of the texture on the face. This can be very useful for positioning these textures in the proper way on these faces. Note that this will also give you a series of options up above for mirroring, rotating, and changing other things about this as well, as well as being able to reset your material to the way that it was before you made your changes. The selection section allows you to set how the objects you paint are selected. The section is broken up into two parts, faces and edges. When faces is selected, you can adjust how you can apply materials. You have options for applying materials to each individual face, which, which can be broken up by hidden geometry, each full surface, and then all connected faces, and then connected faces with same material, and connected faces with the same UV mapping. So there's a lot of different selection options to adjust the way you can apply materials in your models. Fa the face side section allows you to set if you're going to apply materials to the front, back or both. So this allows you to apply materials to the front side and the back side as well as just the front or the back of each different face. There's also options in here to apply colors to edges. So one thing to note when you're using this part 
is for these to show up, you need to adjust your style settings so that your edge colors are shown by material rather than all same. You can also use this to apply colors to annotation labels. Supposedly this works for dimension labels as well, though I haven't been able to get it to work. There's a couple more options off to the side that allow you to automatically call through paint whenever you turn on the SketchUp material editing tool. So you can set this so that through paint will automatically turn on if you just want it to always turn on. You can also mark edges as diagonal and turn hidden geometry on and off from within this toolbar. Overall, this extension is a fantastic addition to SketchUp's material tools, especially for irregular faces. They can, this can be especially important if you're trying to apply materials for rendering. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this something you might find useful? Um, have you been using this extension? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.